Hey guys and welcome back to another episode of Wild North Addiction. If you guys are new to the channel, my name is William and Wild North Addiction is full of bust ups and no plan. But today we're in a brand new spot, never ever been here before and all I can say is pretty wicked. We've uh, we got Malcolm, he's just sorting out some gear. We've got young o Ollie Dog. Hey mate. On the rugby jacket, number seven, Richie McCaw. Morning. Here's Malcolm. And uh, yeah, we're going to go and try catch a big trout. Well, a couple of big trout, hopefully. Apparently there's some big ones. Big ones in here. What's your biggest one? Seven pound or something? Mm, about eight out of here. Eight pound. Yeah. So that's good trout apparently. It's like a big car wire. So this, there's actually two lakes here. There's one here you're not allowed to boat in. And then the one up there, you can have a boat. And then there's a river that runs in between them. We'll just fish that and then fish in this river mouth here. To where the trout like to sit. And we've just actually seen some trout in here before. Bust them up, eating something off the surface. It was down here, but went over there, I couldn't see them. But that's the plan today. And uh, we, might, we got the cob grill, so I might even have a feed. And uh, yeah, you know how it goes. No plan. And full of bust ups. So hopefully Malcolm doesn't break his leg or something because that'll be a proper one. <laughs> right, let's go. Right, so the first uh, lure I'm going to try is this black and gold. Toby. Toby. No, it says Crusader on here. Uh -huh. Well, it's wrong. <laughs> well, it's wrong. Malcolm knows. Yeah, 10 gram Daiwa, little uh, black and gold, whatever that thing's called. Toby or Crusader. We'll find that out. And uh, yeah, a little TD black, 2,500. It's got 8 pound braid. Or something, 10 pound maybe. And then, yeah, TD Black Canal Master, I think it is. Canal Monster. There we go, 862. So that's just the uh, trout rod that I'm using. Like I said, I am not a trout fisherman. But looks good, and it's light. Pretty much just like a micro baiting rod for snappers. Same thing, just with a funny looking lure. That'll get the dog. Hey, y'all. Yeah, I agree. Come here. So, Jude, Malcolm's wife, knitted this uh, rugby jersey for Ollie when Richie McGaw uh, retired. There you go. We used to be massive All Black fans, and um, <laughs> when Richie retired, All Blacks rugby went to shit, basically. Yeah. So we stopped watching it, and just to keep... The spirit of Richie alive, Jude knitted his jersey and gave Look his number that. to Oliver. <laughs> so he wears an All Blacks jersey. <laughs> now it's Ollie. So Ollie's now the captain of the All Blacks. Ollie's a rugby player. Aren't you, buddy? Can turn it for breakfast. That'll do. Fill in the gap anyway. Uh, you just stay right there, truck, and uh, take it off the old gummies because it's a bit deep. So, rocking the standards. Is Ollie going for a ride? Oh, yeah, no, that water's cold. Holy shit, that's like snow water. <laughs> my legs are. Um, my legs are numb already. Holy shit, that's cold. No way, well, I'm going for a swim. You gotta be a mad dog or really stinky to go for a swim in this. I can get the old gummies on for this mission, I think. <laughs> the feet are cold. 
Right, the old GoPro team. Get the socks. Get the socks on and get the gummies on, I think. Where are we going, bad granddad? Just out here to the right. Somewhere there. Oh, once we get through this shit, it opens up a bit. You might get across some gumbies on. Alright, so we've got to cross another stream. Didn't really think this one through. Oh shit, it's pretty muddy. Oh my god. <laughs> this mud. Shit, we've got an actual bust up here. Don't fall over. Oh shit, bad granddad nearly falling over. <laughs> you reckon I'll make it? Yeah, you get the yeah, your tide, tide mark when your gumbies is dropping. <laughs> Tide's dropping. No, I wouldn't do that one. Yeah, no, I got it. We might get there. Yeah, I think I'm there. Nearly. Yeah, boy. Oh no. How sick is this spot? Check it out. Absolutely unreal. Real deep right here. Deep drop off. Do a money off here. Malcolm's just chucking the gear up there and then we'll just walk along the edge of that dark spot up there. And uh might even just throw a little in here and see what happens. Oh shit. Absolutely unreal. I don't really want to take the gum boots off. <laughs> My feet are toasting. Yeah, it's not too bad out here. It's like gravel. Yeah, rocks out here. Ah, uh, that's about the limit. First cast. Hey? Yeah, it's just that first little bit. It's just that first little bit of mud. Right, so there's a bit of a drop off. There's a bit of a drop off just here, and uh, don't ask me how deep it is. But apparently, the trout like to sit on the edges. So I'm just going to let this, let this sink a bit and uh, see if we can't get a snag. But yeah, so the, where this river's running out just here, the fish should be sitting right on the drop off somewhere around here. That's normally the go. Same as up the harbour, where the little creeks are running out. It's normally where the fish are, sometimes. Or where the holes are, where the creeks are running out. Running off the mud flats. Same sort of thing here. 
except we're just casting a little car while lower. Right, so we're uh, we're going back for feed. No fish yet, and uh, but we're going to go back to the truck and just see if we can't. Well, we are. Uh, we got some sandwiches and shit in the truck. Make oh, a banana cake that Jude made. How was in here? And um, yeah, make a coffee. Get the old boiler going. And yeah, have feed and then come back out here and try to catch something. Been a bit slow, we didn't even. Oh, we've seen a few rising on the lake, but nothing to be uh, bragging about. Oh, a few sand flies around here, too. Right down there. Big brown trout. I just come over the ledge here, and it was sitting like right here, just on the surface. I'm gonna come down and he. He sort of, yeah, he's moseyed on. Shit, that was so, that was a good fish. That was cool. Maybe we should be fishing in here. He was a big boy. Going. Try it. The old uh, water boiler. Super handy. Couple of cups. Jeff. The old corset to fly. How you going, bear granddad? Very yeah, good. In the seat? Comfy? Very good. Coleman seat. It's got to be comfy. Right, we'll wait for that. Do you want some cream? Cream in the coffee? Have you, even, can do, yeah. have you tried it? No. It makes you feel fat, it's good. What is it? Like cream. Long life cream. I don't quite boil enough water. Sure, we might need to just put some more water on. Bust up. Quite heavy snow in here in the winter. Does it? Mm. Yeah, I'll give that a miss. Right, if that Auckland traffic doesn't do it for me, eh? Uh, for uh, no, it's hopeless. How the hell do people can sit in that all day and try and get anywhere and not me. Not built for that. I am? I am not built for that. No, I, I couldn't do that shit all day, eh? No. Just little things like even trying to get to the dentist, dentist or a doctor's appointment or pick the kids up from school or... Takes half an hour, 45 minutes, an hour. And you've got to time it, you know. Come on, Ol. You coming? Let's go. We're going fishing. Come, mate. Let's go. Don't chuck gummies back on, I think. Wet socks. Wet, sweaty socks. Gotta love it. <laughs> How bloody spectacular is this spot? Blowing me away. I uh, I love the far north, but I think I also love this place. On a nice day. <laughs> Maybe not when it's bloody snowing. It'll be a bit cold, but that's all right. Nothing like being cold. We were actually 
quite cold, very cold, just on the other side of these mountains. And there uh, should be some YouTube footage coming of that. Just got to sort out through the footage and whatnot, but we went hunting in there and flew in the chopper. It is uh, a very, very cool episode. So, might have posted it by now, or might have not. But I don't even know when this video's going up, because you know me. I just make a video when I can and post it when I want, pretty much. So yeah, that footage might already be up, so if it's up, go and check it out on the page. But if it's not, it'll be coming very soon. Cheers. Big trout. Look at that big fella. You see him down there? Oh yeah, he's a good one too, isn't he? So he was the one that we spooked before we went and had a uh, coffee. Coffee and a feed. Yeah, he's just straight down here. Stand behind those rocks there. Yeah. That's a good one, huh? Yep. Maybe on the way back you can throw a fly at it. Stand up there or something. You don't need to be on that other side, eh? But, uh... It's cool though. That's cool to see something. Very. Very cool. But now, we'll hook into them soon. Hopefully. But, you never know. It's fishing. It's not catching. Right, so absolutely no fish in here. Well, there is, we just can't catch them. <laughs> yeah, not today anyway. But uh, yeah, we didn't even see one. Haven't even had one come up on the lure. Not a bite. So we're going to go back and we might just have a little cast at this one, that big one that we've seen in here. And then we're going to go to drive up the road a bit and uh, go to another little posse. Uh, don't ask me where, but we're going there. And we'll go to, um, Walter Peak and chase some salmon off the beach along the beach. Walter Peak, there we go, that's where we're going. So, yeah, try and catch salmon, and then, yeah, hopefully, we can get one. Otherwise, it's going to be a boring episode with no fish. That's uh, becoming quite a reality. Well, this will be a um, we'll make this one into a, a real journeys just on New Zealand, yeah, real journeys. And where are we? Where's um, Mavora? Real Journeys Mavora, Wild North Addiction Styles. Zoom Zoom. Ollie's got the Zoom Zooms. Go out. That big trout was the next one, I think, eh? So, yeah, that's the plan. That trout's just on the edge of this bank here. Malcolm's gonna have a cast at him. He's eating off the surface, eh? Yeah. Maybe we should chuck a fly at him. I don't know if you guys can see him, but he's like right there. Just cast that up on the edge of the bank. About there. <laughs> yeah, about there. That'll do.
He's a good size. He's probably like 45 centimetres, 50 centimetres. Actually, probably bigger than that. We still see him. 55. No, nah, he's sort of gone down into the deep. He'll still be there somewhere. Where's he going? He's literally just sunbathing here, eh? I can't see him now, but he was like right on the surface here. Just eating shit off the surface. He's not interested in your lure. Can you see it going past him? Well, I can't see him at the minute. Alright, that could have been my fault. I think I uh, spooked him. Aye. Bust up. I think I spooked that fish. When I poked my head over that grass, he seen me. Oh, I did the same. Shit. That stuff in there, I just sunk up to my balls. I look over at Malcolm and he's like up to his neck. Proper bust up. Shit, that stuff just sinks, eh? Yeah. I've got <laughs> wet pants now. Luckily I got clothes in the truck. Holy shit. It just sunk. Oh my. So I was just walking along the side of that bank there and then I hit somewhere that looked like that sort of stuff out in the middle there. And I stepped in it and I just sunk straight to my nut. And then Malcolm was like, hey Will, go and give me a hand. <laughs> and how deep were you like? Yeah, chest. Chest height. And look over here. That's actually gnarly. Watch out for that, people. Oh, look, and all the fishing rods in the water. Shit. That can't be good for them. Malcolm, you forgot your fishing rods. Fishing rods are nearly drowned. <laughs> <laughs> if the fishing rods are nearly drowned. <laughs> famous large words. Or famous large last words of Malcolm. How was that experience for you? Yeah, <laughs> different. <laughs> <laughs> Nearly drowned. <laughs> Proper bust up. Alright, let's get out of here and go and find some fish. Right, so we've uh, changed the plan a bit. Malcolm decided to call it a day in his wet clothes. Because he, uh, yeah, completely fell in and was bust up and was wet. So we went back to his place. He got changed. We uh, mucked around, had coffees and a feed. And now we are back at where I started, where Malcolm actually found me. <laughs> where we come down for a yarn and that's how we all started right here and we're gonna go and try catch a trout down at the the point so should be interesting yeah change of plan but hey that's a wild enough addiction full of bust ups and no plan so yeah fingers crossed we can uh, go and catch a trout or something
Nice little Arvo mission. Let's go. Let's go. Probably don't need to lock the truck, but I will. <laughs> I've got one rod, one lure, and one GoPro. Right, here we are. Here's where we're fishing. Right on this point here. Got the dam. Malcolm's coming. He's nearly there. Just don't break your leg. Oh, look, trout right there. Right, we're into it. Right, so we've just got old, um, old mate here. Yeah, the next door neighbour. I've forgotten your name already. Ah, uh, Jack in, mate. First cast. Little fish. Yeah, first cast. That's not bad. Cool. That's not bad, Can eh? You, uh, you need the net. Bro. No, no, you're right. Net the dogs. Filming. Hey, we're filming a YouTube video. I will cut you later. I just got a fish. <laughs> He's gonna be famous. Your boyfriend's famous. Oh, we need to talk. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I'm going to Scotland tomorrow. <laughs> We need to talk. This doesn't oh, sound what? good. Wait, hold on. Give me a second. Here's your fish. Let me take the fish out. I'll, I'll, I'll call you in a minute. Wait. That did not sound good. We need to talk. Yeah, it's your fish, mate. Bust up. <laughs> there we go. Right, I need to track one of them on. The wind dropped your GoPro. Yeah. Good fish. Hey, right? it's not, hey, it's not bad, eh? Hey? Jack's caught the only two. Jack's caught the only two fish on the video so far. Oh no! Watch out! Oh shit! I was playing too much with it, bro. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I just, I'll Jack lost this fish. I'll get it back again for you. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> that's his skill. Oh, that's the one that I caught. <laughs> Probably is, eh? Nah, it's good. No, we're No. Big dog. But, 20 pounder? It's, it's a proper big dog. <laughs> <laughs> right, we'll let him go, eh? Yeah. Proper. Oosh. That's slimy, eh? Right, we'll let him go. Just that one. Good fella. Ladies. Yeah, first fish of the day. <laughs> yeah, first fish for me all day. <laughs> and it, oh, shit. <laughs> oh, good, <thanks. laughs> And it's like 7 o'clock at night. Your granddad had a fish on, but it busted off. Gone, on the traffic light. Here we there. Beauty night. Absolutely beautiful. Sorry boys. That's right. Right, Jack's absolutely smashing it. Oh shit. So am I. I'm hooked up here. Oh my god. Holy shit. Oh my god, check this out guys. We've got a Absolute bust up. What is that? I don't know who that is. They can be jacks. Nearly break the rod, rods in the trees. Anyway, what I was trying to say is Jack's absolutely smashing it. He just did one cast. He's been sitting down for like 10 minutes. One cast, hooked up. Me and bad granddad struggling here. Why can't we catch these trout? Didn't break the rod, so that's right. Close. Right, bad grandpa's got a question for the viewers. G'day. Hey, if you saw a sign on the side of the road that said, slow children, Will reckons you slow down for the children, but I reckon that the sign is for special children who are slow. <laughs> so if you viewers know the answer, let us know, will you? Because it's bugging the shit out of us. <laughs> there you go, it was the sign and it said, slow in big red, and then it said, children crossing. But bad granddad just read it as slow children crossing. Not like slow children. Slow down for children. 
It's bugging the shit out of him. <laughs> Give us your opinion. At Granddad, oh, is it weed? Big weed fish. Weed fish. Th th thought he was on there for a second. Yeah, not a bad one. It's a good one, maybe. Maybe it's not quite bad for you. Yeah, look, look, look. Yeah. Oh, oh bro! Yeah, Jeff. Far out. That was a half decent one, eh? Maybe it's not quite bad for Yeah, we need one for maybe. Next door neighbour, eh? Bring me a trout. Yep. Bagger. Gotcha. We'll get you a trout. I'll get you one, bro. Oh, look. Straight back on. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Straight back on. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Oh, that's good. 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 Oh, Stunning night. Check it out. Bad granddad's trying not to die on his way home. <laughs> yeah. We can't afford to have any more bust ups today. I don't know how bad granddad's still alive. After the episodes we've had today. Right, so a couple of fly rods. What do you guys reckon about me getting a fly rod and trying to sight cast for those snappers up north? That could be pretty cool, pretty cool up the harbour. Casting a little fly or scoot, something. But that could be definitely something a little bit different. Park the boat up on the sandbank and then walk with the fly rod. There'll be some cock ups with it, but it could be pretty bloody cool trying to catch snappers and, and trevs and car wise and that with it. Could be good fun. But I think I'm going to call the video there. It's uh, been a very eventful day with not too many fish at the first spot, but we've got a few down here. I got, oh, I don't know. Oh, Jack got a couple. Malcolm lost a couple. And, um,. Yeah, old Jack. Can't say his name because I think he's from Chile or Argentina or something. Can't say his name, so gave him a name. Jack. Kiwi name. But that's, that's how it goes. But thank you guys very much for watching. Don't forget, William the Fisherman on Instagram and Facebook. And Wild North Addiction on TikTok. And, of course, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought of this video. Share it. And, uh... Give us a like and a subscribe because that keeps me going and keeps me out here making these videos for you guys and finding bad grandpas all over the country. <laughs> so cheers guys, I'll uh, see you on the next episode.